and welcome back to my channel my name is Anne I go by Yoni Yoni on internet and YouTube and Ravelry and Instagram where I talk about knitting um, and today is going to be a little tag along with me project vlog um, type of video I'll explain everything now so I need the mental pressure that filming this basically i need a bit of a push i bought a very nice skein of yarn and i've been struggling to find its right use and i've been putting off using it for a month and a half now which you know is an okay amount of time it depends on but i don't like to have nice yarn sitting for nothing i do have a few and i'm not very happy about it so today we're going to um, make something about this particular ski. So yeah, I went to um, a pop-up shop in Birmingham, um, a yarn shop, just a pop-up one, called Stitch and Hole, and I bought a very, very nice skein of yarn from a fibre I've never worked with before. I was very, very excited, went home, tried to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with it, and I just blanked, completely blanked. So I'll show you the yarn, and I'm going to talk about what we could imagine happening with this yarn for the next foreseeable future. So the yarn in question is this beautiful hand dye yarn. I'll insert some really nice footage because this is really washing this one out. It looks extremely vibrant in person and this is just not doing it. So there's the beautiful footage um, as I speak. And so it's this beautiful uh, Sorry Alpaca Silk Lace in Colorway Faith by uh, Yarn Thing, which is a um, UK dyer. And so I got 50 gram of this, uh, or 300 meters. So it's a Sorry Alpaca Lace, which I've never used before. Um, and it's very, very vibrant. There's loads of color, meaning that I'm kind of struggling to find what would be best to hold it with. Because the idea, I think what I want to do with this is a beanie. I think such a beautiful, warm, fuzzy fibre would be beautiful as a hat. Plan of action. Plan of action is, right now, I'm going to wind this fibre up. We're going to figure out what would be best to hold it with. I'll show you some stuff I was thinking of using potentially with it. Um, but once again, if you don't know what yardage or if I don't know the pattern, it's going to be hard to gauge. But if we based it on what looks best, because that's ultimately what I want to have, then it might help us filter some of those ideas. So the first idea I had is to pair this bad boy with just a pink sock yarn. I think I want to hold this single because I've done the mistake in the past of holding um, variegated mohair um, double and I think the color just fades and all the beautiful variegation that you have are going to be a bit lost so I think I want to help this single and I think this pink could work I think it does work another option would be green maybe potentially if you focus on me again uh, so green is an option Another option would be this blue one, and I think looking at it now works really well. So this is from Mustache. It's a worsted wool superwash by Penbox. That works quite well. Another option. Then another one if I wanted my like super fuzzy fuzzy beanie of my dream. Then I was thinking. Of that, this is a actually a hen, like a charity shop find, but it is a merino wool. Um, so it's this really cool, uh, slightly brighter in person, a uh, yellow one that I would be holding it with this one. So I was thinking of doing a beanie with that, but maybe adding a little bit of color might work. So that's another option. Just to show you how beautiful it is. Oh, look at
Hello. So, um, I've done the swatch on three different colours. Even though the yellow is definitely the softest, um, I don't think it works really well. So I'm in between the pink and blue. But now, I am considering trying also for just white. Hiya. Yeah. So I've done the full swatch in Stockinette and I'm now realising that if I am set on doing a one by one ribbing then I should have done <laughs> the swatch in ribbing. I should also introduce the yarns I'm currently using. So we got Drops uh, Kit Silk. I'm really hoping 25 grams is enough and then I'm also using which I also don't think I'm going to have enough, but after that I can use uh, Flora Hell Double. I'm also using Lima, which is um, alpaca. So 65% wool, 35% alpaca. So I know it will grow a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is what we're using at the minute for this beautiful swatch. So I'm going to go on Ravelry, have a look at everything um, and hopefully find a pattern that I can kind of base it on and then cast on, try it on and then if I reckon it will fit, I'll just go for it. Right, so um, I looked at a few patterns and um, so I looked at two patterns <laughs> that seemed uh, that would be good. So the first one being uh, my Baker's Hat by EM Knits. And the other one being from Pearl Soho is a free pattern. Um, and both of them were casting on about 90 stitches. So I've just cast on 90. Um, and it looked very big. But um, I'm hoping that the one by one will snag everything up. Hello, how are we? This is a different day. This is Saturday. Um, yesterday, I ended up knitting for most of the evening and I got a lot done. So, I have 22 centimetres of hat. Um, so, meaning that if I were to just have it as a single folded Oh, that looks great. I could start decreasing now. Um, I am debating whether I wanted triple folded or not and just have like the thickest oh, the thickest beanie ever. I think that could be a good idea, especially considering I have still this much left of the... Um, sorry, alpaca, I'm not too sure. I've not weighed it down. I don't really know how much that is, but it's quite a considerable amount so completely enough to finish uh the the hat and potentially have maybe some mittens now i would say that i think i might have overdone it yesterday because i have a little bit of pain in my wrist and in my hand um this morning but yeah quite happy with how it's looking like at the minute uh it's just a matter of figuring out if i want a double folded or triple folded for extra thick beanie. I think right now I'm leaning towards triple folded um, just because it's going to be big and might as well be massive um, and this is what we're looking at in a minute so I'll update you later on. Hello this is um sunday the 28th 28th of january so we're on day three of this little vlog and i thought i'll show you exactly where i am at currently let me unfold so this is what it's the mean is looking like now it looks massive on camera but it's actually um it fits so why is it so long is because i want to do the triple fold um, I've tried it on a few times and I think I really want to commit to the biggest, chunkiest knit 
So this is what it would look like um, folded up. So let me try it on. So yeah, super, super thick, um, triple folded. Hopefully that would look, that looks a bit ridiculous now. But yeah, this is what we looking like. Hello, hello. I think we have a finished object on our hands. Um, I finished it earlier, seamed it all up. It's all seamed up together. As you can see, I did <laughs> drop some stitches. The decrease was in knit three together, which um, was not very precise on my end. And I did drop some, but I think I did manage to like scoop them back up. Um, and we have this finished object, so it's folded three times, uh, <laughs> um, which makes it really, really, really warm. Uh, so that might be like dead of winter kind of hat and not anything else, but it's looking really good. I'm gonna block it and uh, pin it on the three fold. It's not dry <laughs> yet, but we're going to ignore that. A few things I would say, I should have blocked it completely flat and not fold it in advance because it has like slightly stretched out on the side, which it wasn't as much when I um, shaped it even before blocking. You see, my, you see what I mean? But this is what it looks like at the minute. So... I still have a few ends to weave in, but it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, but I don't think this project is finished because I have been seeing a lot on my For You page, a lot of like blanket stitch beanie. And I think it would add a bit to it. So we're going to try. And if it doesn't work, it's fine. We could just take it off. Um, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like the blanket stitch. I'm thinking that all the <laughs> all the inspo pictures I had were were with um just like single color yarn and that just looks a lot better. I'm thinking that um I finished this really beautiful scarf um not long ago and I'm thinking that I really like this idea of a blanket stitch beanie so i might just do a simple very very simple uh beanie and then have a bit of a blanket stitch accent i think that would be really really good but in the meantime this is the finished object yeah let me take some cute little videos for you so i guess this is me saying goodbye to you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoyed uh tagging along along from start to finish on a little project yeah thank you for joining me if you enjoyed this type of content i enjoy doing something a bit different than the regular podcast for once then please uh follow the little channel and give this video a like so i know that you like this uh, type of content as well um thank you very much i'll see you very soon bye -ya.